Hi everyone! Before you watch this great PBS news segment about today's featured installation artist, Yoyoi Kusama, I wanted to highlight some really important themes and points of interest about this unbelievable artist. What I, for one, find incredibly interesting is that this 91-year-old um, Yoyoi Kusuma is basically like a rock star in today's art world. But it's only been in the past decade or so that she's really come into mainstream fame. So I'd like to share, shed some light on why she is so relevant in today's audiences. First of all, we can't talk about Kusuma without talking about dots. I love this quote where she says, since my childhood, I have always made works with polka dots. Earth, moon, sun, and human beings all represent dots, a single particle among billions. Yoi Kusama's work usually emanates from two main ideas, um, the idea of infinity and the idea of obliteration or like erasing and destruction. In her childhood, Kusama faced great adversity. She was born in 1929 and raised by a very conservative family in Japan. She experienced childhood trauma in her child in her relationship with her parents um, was quite troubling. By the age of 10, she had experienced psychosis and um, was having unsettling hallucinations of dots and flowers that were obliterating her body. She painted and drew pictures as a therapeutic way to deal with the hallucinations, but her mother strictly disapproved um, of her interest in art. So Kusama developed a very quick and furious way of making her patterned art in defense of her mother, who would often snatch the artwork right out of her daughter's grasp. Against her family's wishes, Kusama went to art school, and by 1958, she had moved to New York City. For a short while, she was able to immerse herself in that art scene, and in the 1960s could even keep up with the likes of Andy Warhol. However, in 1973, Kusama moved back to Tokyo because it was increasingly difficult for a woman of Asian descent to succeed in the New York um, art world. Her installations use themes of dots, pumpkins, and nets. As mentioned on the previous slide, her use of dots has been consistent since her first hallucinations um, as they refer to our greater cosmic existence and they constantly relate to our being one of many. She says she loves pumpkins because of their humorous form, their warm feeling and human-like quality in their form. She says, my desire to create works of pumpkins still continues. I have enthusiasm if, as if I were a child. She painted many nets when she first moved to New York. Um, and the process of making these huge paintings of brush strokes with little holes provided relief for Kusama, who sought to obliterate her fears and even herself through the act of repetition. When she left New York, Kusama was also struggling with her mental illness, and by 1977, she voluntarily moved into a psychiatric hospital, where she has resided ever since. While living in this institution, she works on projects in her studio across the street, um, which has allowed her to continue her art in a healthy space. She seemed to have fallen out of the art scene altogether until 1989, when she had her first retrospective in New York City. And since then, she's only grown increasingly popular. One reason why she is sort of a modern art hero for young audiences is the way that she is empowered by her mental illness um, rather than being consumed by it. Painting for her has always been a way for her to release what she is seeing in her mind. So today, at 91 years old, Yoyoi Kusama is considered an international sensation and the most famous lived female artist. Time Magazine names her as one of its 100 most influential people, and um, tickets to her art shows often sell out within one hour. And in 2018 alone, her artwork netted $108 million at auction, which is more than any other female artist. So thanks for letting me geek out about this incredible woman for a few minutes. Um, now, please watch the accompanying video to get an even more in-depth look at what it's like to be at a Yoyoi Kusama um, exhibition. Take care.